A Krasnikov tube is a speculative mechanism for space travel involving the warping of space-time into permanent superluminal tunnels. The resulting structure is analogous to a wormhole with the endpoints displaced in time as well as space. The idea was proposed by Sergei Krasnikov in 1995. Structure The tube is a distortion of space-time that can be intentionally created in the wake of travel near the speed of light. The Krasnikov tube allows for a return trip that takes you back to the time right after you left. This several light year long artificial tube might arguably constitute a megastructure, but unlike most megastructures it's not constructed of physical matter such as titanium or plastic, but instead is just a distortion of space-time. Experiencing the effect requires that the traveler race along the tube at speeds close to that of light. Causality Violations one tube case Krasnikov argues that despite the time machine-like aspects of his metric, it cannot violate the law of causality because all points along the round-trip path of the spaceship always have an ordered time-like separation. Interval in algebraic terms is always larger than. This means, for example, that a light beam message sent along a Krasnikov tube cannot be used for back-in-time signaling. Two tube case while one Krasnikov tube can be seen to present no problems with causality, it was proposed by Alan E. Everett and Thomas A. Roman of Tufts University that two Krasnikov tubes going in opposite directions can create a closed time-like curve, which would violate causality. For example, suppose that a tube is built connecting Earth to a star 3,000 light-years away. The astronauts are traveling at relativistic velocities, so that the journey through this tube I only takes 1.5 years from their perspective. Then the astronauts lay down tube 2 rather than traveling back in tube I, the first tube they produced. In another 1.5 years of ship time they will arrive back on Earth but at a time 6,000 years in the future of their departure. But now that two Krasnikov tubes are in place, astronauts from the future can travel to the star in tube 2, then to Earth in tube I and will arrive 6,000 years earlier than the departure. The Krasnikov tube system has become a time machine. In 1993, Matt Visser argued that the two mouths of a wormhole with an induced clock difference could not be brought together without causing quantum field and gravitational effects that would either make the wormhole collapse or the two mouths repel each other. It has been suggested that a similar mechanism would destroy time machine Krasnikov tubes. That is, vacuum fluctuation would grow exponentially, eventually destroying the second Krasnikov tube as it approaches the time-like loop limit, in which causality is violated.